Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about wellness preventive care. And there are a lot of options out there. Now back in the day, before I became a general practitioner here in Papillion, Nebraska, with Papillion Animal Hospital, I did work at a corporate uh, Banfield. And you know guys, Banfield, I know people give corporations a hard time, but they were a great company to work for. With that being said, there are a lot of preventive care packages out there now on the market. Now, Banfield has theirs, or PetSmart has theirs, Petco has one. Also, I believe VCA might have one too, but a lot of corporate hospitals have preventive care packages and a lot of general practitioners have them too so what are preventive care packages and what do they look like now number one number one guys preventive care packages are that they are preventive care you need to separate them from the emergency stuff sorry about that from the emergency stuff the emergency stuff guys is when you have a major problem your dog is vomiting diarrhea maybe it gets hurt it falls it's limping it needs surgery that is that is an emergency that is coming out of your emergency funds or your pet insurance preventive care are things that you roll in for on a yearly basis or a six month basis to get checked up on that usually includes things like vaccines fecal or poop exams heartworm testings, and just a routine physical exam. Now, there are a couple other things you could probably add on. Sometimes they will add on like a spay or a neuter, which is not, it's an elective procedure, but it's not an emergency procedure. So these are the things that you expect to be paying out for. So preventive care is, is basically building you a package on what you expect to pay for already, and then you're paying for it monthly. And that allows you to not have any, any big bills then. So what you think about this is when you walk into the pet hospital, a lot of people are going to drop, like, we'll say, hypothetically speaking, like $200 on their yearly exam. That's going to include like a physical exam, a handful of vaccines. They may do some preventive care, like a fecal heartworm testing. And they may even pick up some flea tick meds or heartworm meds. So that's all in that package so that's a lot of money to spend so some people like to do preventive care where they sign up and then they monthly they pay a smaller portion of that so when they roll in for their yearly exam instead of having a big bill they have no bill and that preventive care has already been paid for so when you think of it this way you're going to pay for it in some capacity but this way you're paying for it monthly instead of all at one time the thing we got to make sure, and when I did work at Banfield, the, the biggest confusion we got was someone would roll in and say, we have pet insurance. And that is a failure of the veterinarian. That was a failure of me to not specify or make it super clear that it's preventative care. So what happens is when someone signs up for preventive care, we need to be saying, this is preventive care. These are the things you need on a yearly basis. These are the things that keep your doggy, your kitty healthy and safe. We should do these things yearly. This is not for when we're sick. The only thing that does translate over sometimes is sometimes they will have a free office exam. And that's what Banfield had. I can't talk for the other one, but that's what Banfield had. And when a doggy came in for vomiting, that office exam would slide over and it'd be a free office exam. That's pretty darn cool because office exams, guys, can be like 50, 60, 70 bucks these days. And that's a good savings right there by itself, especially if you're one of those people that roll in all the time, just have their dog looked at because you're worried about something small. I shouldn't say small, but like, you know, let's say you just, let's say you perseverate on stuff and you want to roll in more regularly, that will save you some serious money. So what is best practice? Best practice is preventive care and pet insurance. And I say it's best practice because that keeps us honest. We don't blow money on things we shouldn't. And now we know we are completely covered with everything we need to do. Now, you can totally pay out of pocket for preventive care and emergency medicine. You do need to make sure that you are saving appropriately and budgeting appropriately for things that are going unexpected. Um, but if you do both of these options, you will have a good size monthly premium. I mean, depending on your doggy guys, it could be as high as like for both of them, like 50 bucks up to a couple hundred. So it's all about what you want covered. And 
and what you want to include in these packages because these packages guys can get crazy um extensive like you can get all of your heartworm and flea tick products included in them so it's all about trimming back the fat if there's too much in it or or adding more to it if you want more in it and it's all about what do you want to pay now compared to later all right guys hope that was crazy helpful i really appreciate you guys you guys have a great day thanks for watching bye